All right, everyone, so that was Joe's question. That's a great sweep, by the way, if you, if you haven't learned that one before. I would say probably in half of all my matches, I hit that sweep. Like, it's very, very high percentage. I, I literally do it all the time. It's one of my original moves that I started coming up with a long time ago. It's, it's very good, so I suggest you try it. Um, we're not gonna spend more time on that, but I, Connor had a question about another position. Connor, could you demonstrate it with Andres for us? So this is from your perspective as the finisher. Yes. Okay. As I get in the armbar from close guard, however I set it up, I sometimes have a problem when they do lock this rear naked choke grip. And yes, I know I can switch and then possibly start bringing them over to the side and then finish it as they're on their back, or I can even reach underneath and start inverting and then bring them to the other side. Yeah. But I would preferably have a nice option from this situation here. And your left, so your left arm is going in and you're through have reaching, this, you're reaching with that arm. Exactly. Okay, so I, I got some. So obviously that we're switching gears. This is a, another common position that you may find yourself in. Um, I have a perfect, ex well, I have a move that I've done from this position, actually in my match against Lucas Leitch a long time ago. That was around the year I met you, Connor, actually, when I fought Lucas Leitch. So Connor had his left arm in, and this is the nor normally the side you would get because the arm bar is usually set up when you're at like Connor's level or more competitive level, you kind of throw the arm bar on quick. Like even if the, if the position's not really telegraphed, a lot of times they just underhook and you're just immediately like in the arm bar. And it's a quicker way to set it up. It's not the, like the basic white belt way, but it's one of the ways that like more advanced guys will end up uh, in the arm bar quickly. However, the downside is that I have to hit one of those moves Connor just showed. I could potentially pull him over or I could spin underneath which are both pretty difficult. So in this position here, I can't really get to his arm. So by using my left arm, I've t that's what's actually tying you up in this position, Connor. I don't know where you went. Okay, just right out of, there you are, okay. So it's this arm. So what you actually do is you need to switch like this. And then when you switch here, even if the hand is tucked behind my leg like this, you can clamp here and just open your leg up and clear that hand really easily like this. And then what we're doing from here is trying to actually bring this arm across and like tuck it to this side, like in my armpit, like this. And this is actually easier than you think. Like it's easier than it looks. So we set up the armbar however we want. If it's the wrong arm, you just have to kind of do Andres's little Tarika Plata trick where you have your hands linked and you can switch to either side. And if the hand is here, we're actually just gonna peel it like this. We're just peeling it and I, I extend my legs away and then tuck the hand through. And what I'll, what I'll do at the same time that this is happening is I will start to choke up on the wrist. So like if, if he's curling his bicep here, his bicep is not going to be stronger than my pull, right? Especially when I couple it with this pull. So he's getting pulled from both ends here. And if I can tuck that through, if I'm unable to kind of like pull this second arm, a lot of times even when it's locked up tight, I just grab the wrist and I start extending his head away and then tucking that arm through. And then I don't finish with the right hand. I pinch and then I switch again. Okay, so that's, a, that's kind of weird. Let's do it from this angle. So let's say I set up the arm bar in a more traditional like beginner way. The right hand would be through. A lot of times you like reach across here like this, foot on the hip, tuck through here. And see my right arm is through. So I'm not gonna experience that same problem that Connor had because I don't have, I have the opposite side arm. He starts to stack me and that's where it starts to suck when he stacks me. That's why I need to clear this hand, pushing at the wrist and clearing here. And then I start to extend his leg away and then I, I bring my elbow up so I can push down and like get it through to my armpit and pinch. And now he can't get this hand back. He can't do the rear naked choke defense again. And then I use my left arm to actually finish at this point here. But one of the key details here is using my thigh on the side of his head to stretch his neck this way. So the left, hand, the left leg extends like that. Like I'm trying to grind his ear off with my hamstring. Like that. That's very effective to finish this arm bar. Go ahead and figure four again. So we're figure fouring. Get the wrist control. Start to extend his head away. He's going to resist and try and drive into me. And when he's resisting and driving into me, it's even easier to tuck that. It's pretty hard to tuck it if he's... Go ahead, go back to your knees like bad posture, if he just stays there, I can't tuck it. But in a real scenario, he's gonna stack me. And the more he stacks me, the more my back is like curved here. So there's space for me to tuck his hand through 
to my armpit on this side. Pinch down and finish with the left arm. There. Was that, I mean, that's kind of tricky with the hands, but it's essentially right arm through, wrist control. He stacks you, you tuck it under the armpit, pinch, and then finish here with the left arm. Does anyone need to see that again? It's kind of, you just throw it up on someone like this, but he gets this and I can't do anything with my right hand. If I use my right hand, I can't do any of those moves I just showed you. I can't get it under my armpit. So I must do the switch. C grip, slide through, clear the hand by pressing at the wrist and kicking the arm off, back over the head. He's gonna start to stack me because he kind of lost some control. As he stacks me, I tuck, pinch, and then make sure that I'm ready to catch this hand. And then I'm just connecting here. This arm is trapped permanently now, and then I can finish the arm bar just by extending, keeping my knees pinched. You can cross your ankles if you want. That's a myth that you can ignore. Okay. Any questions? Let's try it. On three, one, two. You don't have to grab the lapel. You literally just hold. The tension is kept just by extending your hamstrings a little bit. So like you just need a little bit of a hamstring extension, but I prefer more of an active arm bar like this. And then you don't want to clear the head. You literally, like when his hand is locked here, you just push at the wrist, just push the wrist into his chest directly. And then just like right straight forward. And then just a, no, no, fingers up is fine. And then you just do it a little, just enough to, yeah, you don't want to expose his head. You could for sure. Many times you'll just do that right away, but they're never gonna just sit like this. Like Austin would never defend this by having both knees on the mat. You would instantly step your leg up and start stacking. And that's where the spit, that actually gives you the space to throw it underneath when that happens because it hollows your body out. At this point, you just finish the arm bar. Yeah, that's not, that's not what you do. Go back. You can put your hand on the inside gill, however you had it. You're just gonna control his wrist with your right hand on the inside. Just here. This is like just a C, here. No, no, just a C grip, thumb down. Okay. And you're just gonna put a little pressure forward and then you just enough to, just enough. Yeah, just enough to get it out here. And now we're not going to push it there yet because no, no. once it's here, you're just controlling. And now he's got to think about this arm bar. You're going to choke up on this arm bar more. He's going to start to stack you. As he stacks you, when you hit a little bit of an extension, that's where you're going to be able to, yes, exactly. And then the right hand comes across. Yes, that was, that's exactly so how. So don't move my leg. Is your don't, yeah, you barely move your leg. It's like you just push his wrist a little bit. So it just is here. And then that lets, that takes all the tension off your leg. Cause like this is your leg, right? Pushing into his wrist and then you push his wrist a little, then your leg can just move around it. So you're kind of just, you're not like moving your leg. You're just moving his wrist and then just a little maneuver there and it'll pop right out. Yeah. This is an instructional cover right here. Hi. Hi guys. Welcome to the new instructional. This is called the cinnamon twist. Do you want to roll? From this position, we can wrist lock. We can umoplata. We can arm lock as well. It's a very powerful position. As you can see, I have the foot trapped over here too. So there's no rolling, there's nowhere to escape to. 